Web scraping can be intimidating if you don't fully understand what it is and how to do it. But as web scraping grows and becomes more of an important skill to learn, now is a great time to understand how to extract online data efficiently and effectively. We are Parsub, and today we'll go over the web scraping basics. This will be an introduction to what web scraping is, how it works, the legality of scraping, and basic web scraping commands. If you want to learn more about web scraping and elevate your web scraping skills, you can enroll in our free online web scraping courses. The link is in the description. But for now, let's get started. So, what is web scraping? As some of you may already know, web scraping refers to the extraction of data from a website. This information is collected and then exported into a format that is more useful for the user, be it a spreadsheet or an API. Although web scraping can be done manually, in most cases, automated tools are preferred when scraping web data as they can be less costly and work at a faster rate. But in most cases, web scraping is not a simple task. Websites come in many shapes and forms, as a result, web scrapers vary in functionality and features. How does web scraping work? Automated web scrapers work in a rather simple but also complex way. After all, websites are built for humans to understand, not machines. First, the web scraper will be given one or more URLs to load before scraping. The scraper then loads the entire HTML code for the page in question. More advanced scrapers will render the entire website, including CSS and JavaScript elements. Then the scraper will either extract the data on the page or specific data selected by the user before their project is run. Ideally, the user will go through the process of selecting the specific data they want from the page. For example, you might want to scrape an Amazon product page for prices and models but are not necessarily interested in product reviews. Lastly, the web scraper will export all the data that has been collected into a format that is more useful to the user. Most web scrapers will output data as a CSV or Excel spreadsheet, while more advanced scrapers will support other formats such as JSON, which can be used for an API. If you want to learn more about what is web scraping and what it's used for, you can watch our more detailed video by clicking on the top right corner of this video. Is web scraping legal? With you being able to extract data from any website, you might wonder, is web scraping legal? Many big companies in data science will use web scrapers to extract data needed to help them make decisions. It also allows them to gather the right data for investment opportunities, product development, and market research. In short, the action of web scraping isn't illegal. However, some rules need to be followed. Web scraping becomes illegal when non-publicly available data becomes extracted. This comes as no surprise given the growth of web scraping and many recent legal cases that are related to web scraping such as LinkedIn vs. HiQ Labs, Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, Craigslist vs. Padmapper, and others. Our take on the question? While we're not lawyers, if a website or user decides to make their data public, then scraping it should be legal. We believe that in 20 years, people will be surprised to learn that web scraping existed in a legal gray area during our times. You can watch our more detailed video on the legality of web scraping by clicking on the top right corner. Web scraping without any coding skills. Some web scrapers will still require you to have some coding experience, but there are several web scrapers you can use with no coding skills. We'll go over Parsub's basic web scraping commands on how you can scrape data without any coding skills. If you're interested, you can download and install Parsub for free to see these commands in action. The download link is in the description. While web scraping can be done manually or done by coding, it can also be done using an automated web scraping tool like Parsub. While these commands are specific to Parsub, other web scrapers will have similar commands that will perform the same function. Select command. This command selects elements on the page. If you click on one element, it will select a single element, and if you click on another similar element, it will automatically select all elements of that type and insert a begin new entry command to ensure each selected element has its entry in your data. Relative select command. This command is nested under select command and links one element to another. After you selected an item, you can use a relative select command to click on that item and link it to another. This is used to associate a date with a headline, a phone number with a name, or a price with a product name, for example. Click command. This command allows your project to click into an element you've already selected with a select command. Extract command. This command allows you to extract data from an element you've already selected with a select command. For example, if you select a link, it will automatically extract both the name of the link and the URL itself. 
If you're only interested in the name, you can use the extract command to extract just the name. Exporting your data. Exporting your data is just as important as extracting the data. Many web scraping tools will allow you to export the data into an easier format to understand and store your data. More advanced web scrapers will allow you to export to the following formats. Excel CSV file, JSON, Google Sheets, API. Once the data is exported into the format you'd like, you can use this data for market research, industry insights, lead generation, brand monitoring, and many more. If you want to learn more about web scraping and elevate your web scraping skills, we've created a free online web scraping course. There are two courses, the basics of web scraping, where you'll learn what web scraping is, how it's used in the real world, and you'll get to build your very first web scraping project. Parse up web scraping beginner certification. You'll learn how to use a web scraper, set up scraping commands, scrape e-commerce websites, scrape business listings, and more. Once completed, you'll get a certificate of completion. To register for free, just follow the link in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Check us out at parsop.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.